Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to some Star Citizen, ladies and gentlemen. Oof, what are we doing here today? Well, first of all, you can see by the title of the video, uh, we're actually going to be reacting. I've never done a reaction video before of something like this, but it's an Inside Star Citizen episode. I saw like a tiny clip of it on Twitter, and I, I was like, what the... Okay, but, well, we're going to have to react to it, and I've never done one. I've spent a little bit of time trying to figure out how to do this, and I think I've come up with the best... Uh, the best plan for it. Hopefully this format works okay. We're actually here inside of my hangar right now. I actually attempted to... Um, I spent like <laughs> a good amount of time trying to actually put my ships in here so we can have something to look at. And uh, I put my trophy cases and things up and it just... It doesn't... I mean, this thing just doesn't work very well. I mean, sure, like you could put these things in. But this is all that I could put in. Like I could put like the little ships and stuff in it. Let's do a freelancer. Why the bloody hell not? Um... But this was about as far as I could get. I couldn't actually put any of the ships in or anything like that. But who cares about that? That's not what we're doing here anyway. So let's go ahead and go inside of our office. And we'll get started. Um, we'll get started. Is there an elevator in here? What the bloody hell was that noise? What was that noise? Uh, we're going to get started with our little, you know, reaction video. We're going to play along together or watch this together. I'll give you my thoughts and opinions on it. And we'll go from there. Yesterday was my first video of Space Engineers. That's the badger. And uh, I had a lot of fun. It was fun. If you did go in there and check it out, I appreciate it. Um, thanks for all the positive support on that video. Uh, the, how I'm going to be doing that video or that series, like I say, it'll be kind of like a filler for now in between, you know, Star Citizen. Um, tomorrow, we don't have a specific org event planned out yet. Uh, myself and the community manager is going to be talking today to see if we can get something going. Um, but just obviously with everything going on in the world, people are busy, people are... Uh, yeah, I don't know. But we're going we're gonna to look into it, but there will be a live stream tomorrow. We'll probably start off with Star Citizen, a few hours on that, and then finish with a few hours on Space Engineers. I think that's probably the best way to do it. Because um, I know from the feedback that you guys have given me from Space Engineers... That it seems like you want to see my progress, not just like, this is what I did overnight, and then it, everything's different and you don't even know how I did it or anything like that. So, anyway, we'll, we'll get into that. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's it. So, what we're going to do, this is how we're going to format this video. Um, this is the angle I'm going to use right here. And you're probably thinking, why the bloody hell are you using that angle? Well, this is why. That didn't work as I planned it to, did it? This is why. Aha! Wait, that didn't work either. Okay, let's, should we try this again? Let's, uh, <laughs> this is the angle I'm going to be using. Bada boom. Why, you may ask. Boom. This isn't working as I anticipated, is it? So, this is how we're going to be viewing it. <laughs> okay, this is why I'm over on this side. Let's try this again, shall we? Boom. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I can see it. You can see it. We can both see it. Um, so this is how we're going to do it. We're just going to watch this. It's 11 minutes, 26 and I thought, I thought this would be cool because you could see my face. You know, it's Foip. Foip is me. And um, this is what we're going to do. Like I say, I've seen a little snippet of this on Twitter. And I was like, I have to see this. Um, but I haven't watched the whole thing. So we're going to be watching it here together. I'll be pausing it, talking to you guys about my opinions on it. And we'll go from there. So let's go ahead and see. Inside Star Citizen! Laser pointers, stabilizers, and holographic scopes. More than just the pistol or rifle you choose... Attachments are the way in which players can add additional customization options to their FPS weapon of choice. And recently, okay. the Actor Feature Team has improved the way in which you can manage these prerogatives of yours through the use of a new 3D interface built using our Building Blocks tech. It gives new life to the phrase, there are many weapons like it, but this one is yours. Never heard that phrase, but I'll believe it. I'll so, believe it. Uh, we've got a new feature coming to 3.9, and that is the uh, weapon Get attachment attached. UI, along with a couple of new uh, bearing optics attachments as well. What the hell's this thing? So, to use the UI, you can go into a new customized interaction on the weapon. Oh, you okay. This you should be presented with this, so you the get a spec style view of your weapon, and you can see all of the attachment points on here as well. So, you've got your optics slot, your underbarrel slot, and your barrel slot as well. Uh, so if we just go into the underbarrel slot here, oh, there, that's cool. That, um, we've got a nice line drawing. That is to, pretty cool. Bring your item where the attachment's going to attach to, and then if you start, are you going to? Is this going to? Hmm. Um, they will uh, draw in as like a hologram preview for you. To I mean, at. okay, let me pause it's this for a second here, guys. Um, now this is cool. This is a cool feature. But I mean, I don't know at what point I would need to switch out my attachments. 
You know, I feel like once you've set... Hey, this is cool. I'm not complaining. Hey, new things are new things. I'm happy about it. But I feel like once you've built your gun and set your attachments, why would you want to switch between, like... I don't know. I don't know. I think I'm just complaining well, at this point. What you are seeing right here is a work in progress. So a few things will change for 3.9. Like, we'll have some individual icons uh, for each uh, attachment here. So you'll be able to tell which what each attachment is before you even mouse over them, which would be nice. Um, and you may see a couple of bugs with the bearing scopes, but they will be all ironed out for release, I'm sure. So as soon as you click on one of these, it loads onto the weapon. I mean, that is so cool. No to, it is cool. Uh, I'm not going to complain. It is, it is cool. Glass. I just don't know and how often you'll be using it, you know? interact with your weapon and get them on there instead now. So, yeah. We can I guess it is easier. As well. So again, yeah, we get all of you the know, previews. If you know, so you which is which. Kind of like, if you forget weapon, to uh, like, put an attachment on, this helps. Or if you want to switch to silence, so this helps. And then if we go and look at yeah, the scopes. Yeah, no, it's cool. It's really cool. all of our MV tech scopes, which are in game. And then we've got a couple of the bearing ones. I guess it'd be cool for, like, a sniper and stuff. So you can switch between, like, three times zoom, two times zoom. Two times holographic. Three times our graphic and the reflex. It's a cool feature. Well. It's a cool feature. So I'm not going to uh, aim down sight with this. This is not what this video what I thought was in this video. What the <laughs> looks like. But it's bad. I'll just use one of the holographic ones so you can see one of the slightly more complex ones as well. Uh, this one here. Uh, obviously, these are work in progress, so we're still working through some of these. But um, yeah, there we go. Uh, I'll show you what this looks like on a assault rifle as well. So if we go into the customize mode. We can add an underbarrel attachment, our barrel attachment yeah, scroll cool. here, and you can see every time we click on one of these, it puts it in nice view, so you can see what's going on. No, that's cool. It's cool. I get it. And here's one of the, I think this is the bearing times four size two scope as well. I think we get it. <laughs> I think I understand. I think I understand. So at the moment, um, this has basically just been all built in building blocks. So this has all been done by designers and coders currently with a, a, a little bit of support from UI as well. So it's, a, it's due a full UI art pass to properly unify it with the full stasis and uh, menus uh, that we've got in game at the moment. So like the, the new pit wheel that we've got and everything. Um, so we're still due that at the moment. Um, we'd also like to change these to actually have hollow, pr full 3D hollow previews of each item in here, uh, which sadly we couldn't get done in time for 3.9. We also want to fully unify the customize mode with the inspect mode. So as you can see, the pose is very similar in the inspect mode. You can also move the weapon around yourself and take a look at everything. Eventually, we would like to have all of the interaction points on here to click on and interact with in the same way that you just saw in the interaction mode, but actually have the two modes unified here instead. Cool. We would also eventually, down the line, and it's probably one of the last things that we'll do, is uh, every time you swap one of these attachments over, rather than it just disappearing and appearing on the weapons, we'll take away the old attachment and put it in our bag and then put the new one on top. Ah, I don't know so about yeah, that. I feel like it would just take too long. I like, and, I like what it, the way uh, what's it is. It's coming in the future as well. As we wrap up this quarterly season of Inside Star Citizen, we couldn't leave without exploring one of Alpha 3.9's biggest new additions, What's that? the high-tech wonderland known as New Babbage. Oh, so this is what I'm talking about! Inusi, the principal level designer and senior this is what environment I saw. artist this is what I saw. who led the team I saw a clip to create our newest LZ and had them discuss what sets this oasis among the snow and ice apart from every landing zone before it. Okay, before we get into New Babbage, um, I think... The, the, as far as the attachments thing, it's, I think it's cool. I think it's cool. I don't know how often I'd use it, but it's, it's a cool thing to have. Um, but what he was talking about, how they're going to change it so you you physically take them off and put them, stow them, and then you put another one on. I don't think it needs it. I mean, I guess for immersion, it would look cool. But I, like, I mean, I, I, the, the way they had it was cool to me. The way they had it. All right, New Babbage, this is what I'm talking about. This is what I was getting excited for. Oh, I love this place. I just please okay, tell me so you're putting on a point nice of interest so we can actually fly package. down there. Yeah, man. Let's talk. <laughs> Put some trade locations, you know? Some delivery All locations. Right, this spaceport. Welcome to New Babbage. Yeah. Welcome to Microtech's capital. I really like the spaceport. I like what okay, we did here. Okay, this. I don't know if we've seen this part before, but um, there's a nice inside look at one of the hangars. I mean, it's very industrial. Which I guess, I mean, it's a bloody hanger. It's like a, yeah, it's fine. I just thought it would be more modern, but now that I'm thinking, like, my where I am right now in here, my hanger. But I guess... 
you know, it is a spaceport at the end of the day. This isn't like a private hangar. So that, I mean, it makes sense. I think to move it outside the city was a good decision just so players have an easier time finding it. For a I mean, aren't all of them basically outside the city? Well, obviously they're like, they're in the city. No, I guess they're in the city. But then you always have to travel by train to get into the, like, the main area, right? Um, so it's kind of like that. Well, I don't know. Let's continue. So, well, and also landing there because there's no structures near it. Yeah, it's good focus. Just letting you in quick. And then once you're in this atrium. Oh my God. Puts you this right thing in touch with where you're going. So I we can't have transit wait. running out into the city. Until new Babbage like opens. Design that what's, whatever's going on outside, you're going to be Metro well loop. aware of that when you're in the spaceport. I love how modern it is. I love new Babbage. And the same right? with transit. I think it's very nice that we've gone for Hold on a, a lot of work. second. Transit. So new Babbage installs. So this is the spaceport. And then you go across the lake, obviously. So there's the commons and the inspired ground. So the commons, I'm assuming, is going to be like the, um, like where you're going to live, right? This is going to be like a hotel, I'm guessing. And then the inspired ground is going to be like the shopping area. I think that makes sense. Or maybe the opposite. <laughs> I don't know. But I hope to, I can't wait to see like the sleeping quarters. What are they called? The hab hab habitation deck? Hab habit? I don't know. I can't wait to see that. I think it's very nice that we've gone for. Probably not going to show it though in this video. Spaces. You kind of travel twenty-four kilometers. Oh my kilometers god! I can't wait. I'm going to be here so much. That journey. You're not just going to go into. This is where I'm going to be based out of. Else. Sure. It, it's no, quite far away though. So. The exterior and it looks uh, if they make trading, like right, they buy things for a lot here. Oh my god! Look at that thing. But it also goes very fast. This is a high-tech location. Is it going to be like really high-tech bullet train that goes at? Very high speeds and wow. you can get anywhere pretty pretty quickly. And hold on a second. Okay, no more getting bored on a train. I mean, look at this for a view. Usually, I skip the train journeys in my videos because they're like you know they're quite boring. This is bloody gorgeous. I just love how modern it is. This is sick. All right, let's carry on. Because the transit system, the network is fairly simple and easy. Hey, what happened there? High speeds and you can get anywhere pretty, pretty, what does that pretty say? quickly and easily. Because the trend is no access. Is you think that's just because they're testing it? It says that system. The and then you go into it and you go into this like freaking space mountain looking thing. Network. It's fairly it simple looks cool. and easy. It navigate. looks cool. I think the commons are so successful in making you feel like it's a space. They need. To, we better have an emote where you can do yoga. I mean, we have dancing. We have all these things. They better have a bloody yoga emote. That's all I'm saying. Better be a yoga emote. Oh my god. It's where people just hang out. Are they bloody birds? They between, <laughs> Is know, that on their lunch break? I mean, obviously they're work. holograms, but I don't think. Yeah, I love the NPCs That's sick. running around and doing exercises. It's very. They tech got a bloody campus, gym? You know, Silicon Valley. They're are we going to be able to go vibe. on this gym? Uh, there are these healthy places where players can. Is this going to get like super old on a second before we get there? Is this going to be like GTA? Where you have to work out, stay in shape? Is it going to be that like. <laughs> Crazy? I can't imagine it would be like that, but... And look at this. Garcia's greens. I mean, this is... You're going to be be able to eat, obviously, in this patch. So it makes sense, but wow. I love it. I love how modern it is. I love the wood mixed with the green. Goals right there. Generate. Goals. Yeah, we went for that with the design. Like, get you what you need. Do you want to run? Go. Do you want a yoga? Go. Do you want a sandwich? Hold on a second. Okay, so this is the line. So the commons factory line... Shubian Installer, Contract Services, Trade and Development Division, Protection Services, Planetary Services, Faster Than Light Carrier, Sensor Mass. Okay, so there is... Okay. I hope I hope they introduce, like, um, like, locations, you know what I mean? Like, places where we can actually go trade. I haven't seen anything. I'm hoping in this video we get to see something like that. But this is cool. Okay, like carry on. There, Proceed. Like hub. Kind of in contrast to New the Babbage Plaza, Plaza. Which we see is a lot more like you know, focus on the business, focus on what's actually important. Business. I love the waterfalls on the sides. <laughs> this is sick. I wonder. This is what they show us. But you know, there's going to be like just a bunch of NPCs just standing in a line right here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, no, I hope they fix that. But anyway, let's, let's continue. Focus on what's actually important. Holy crap! The palm trees. 
I mean, the graphics are insane, obviously, as always. Is this microtech? Is this actually... Okay, let's continue. Like, this is where they make their money. And it's a lot more like... You can tell so it's modern, commercial. I love it. Tech and commercial. Yeah, it still has Apple some of watch. these Silicon Valley startup this elements trade center. It, but yeah, it's that marble. Look at the bloody business. marble on the side. And this is where players can find, you know, What's this the offices. Lounge? This is like the they VIP lounge. To the shops where you can buy ship components. Sensor ship mass. Weapons, okay, this looks very similar to our Corp sensor mass. All that In fact, it's the exact copy. Yeah, Hold on a freaking second. Is this the all Omega watches? Isn't that the same? What is this? Oh, this is cool. I like how it has like power plants here, coolers here. Because if you're a dumbass like me, you forget which one's which. I like it. I like it. Yeah, we're trying Continue. to reflect that as well in the art. Like it's very serious mode. We could say it's like you can tell wow. where it's making the money. It's just so where the big. Made. Yeah, and then when you transition them out, and they have these little walkways. God, I love Microtech. I can't wait for 3.9. I just I hope we have some sort of trade location so we can actually fly. You know, there's purpose. Other than just coming here to look pretty, I hope there's actual purpose for us to be able to come down here um, to do trading or something. I mean, delivery missions, I think they'll be okay here. But it seems like it's going to take you a long time to get around to do deliveries. But I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see. All right, let's continue. Like when you head from the comments, there was a promenade. The sky bridge is uh, definitely one of my favorite things. Sky you bridge. feel like this space that you now arrive at because you come through, through transit and you sort of come up into this bubble like this dome, right? But the sky bridge puts you right out there and like if there's a storm outside, wow. if there's night, if there's anything going on out you there. You did good, guys. You did good. You about this is looking insane. On the journey to the promenade. The music's quite amazing too. Yeah, I like the promenade. What I is mean, that? It's not so serious. That's all. What the bloody hell is this? Incredible fun? Is that a rock? It's a bloody rock climbing wall. <laughs> it's a rock climbing wall. It would be cool if you could interact with it. Are we going to be able to interact with it, do you guys think? I don't know. But it would be pretty cool if we could. It would be pretty cool if we could. But that is cool. Incredible fun. I'm down. I'm down to go to a credit about fun. having a good time. All about nightlife. Yeah, it's a bloody um, nightclub, the I Oasis. The art sort of reflects that as well. Like this. Hold on, Neo Imperial Cuisine. Okay. Some Look how modern you know, it is. But the problem <laughs> is like the creative, let your hair down space. This is like Vegas. For both it's like the area of Vegas. I think that's also how we felt about it when we made it. You know, another bit bar. More relaxed. A bit more what relaxed. Bar? A bit more I like crazy. it. I mean, look at the bloody laser lights. Laser shooting. I wonder and, if they're going to be playing music. Rain. I mean, this is Vegas. This has Vegas written all over it. You know what I mean? If you've been to Vegas, I mean, this is like a mix between the area. And um, the win, the win has these beautiful. Well, so does Caesar's Palace, I think too. Have these beautiful like gardens. I just know the win has a beautiful one, and uh, the area is like super ultra modern. Yeah, this is this is cool. I wonder what music this, they've got to have music playing. I'm just curious to what it's gonna be. All right, let's continue. I mean, <laughs> you guys really had a had a field day, you know. Yeah, but I think it's important, like when you look at microtech, you can get like, drunk you know, you now. Go outside, and there's going to be you a blizzard. Drunk. You can see two meters in front of you if you're lucky. <laughs> it's going to be but, great. And then it's important to have this space as well, like beautiful the skylight. To that you're coming in here, and there's like palm trees, wow. giant ice sculpture, waterfalls. Bloody hell's that? An ice sculpture? That's, that What's that a sculpture of? A bloody thing. asteroid? Yeah, it's definitely cool to to see these really <laughs> okay. hostile environments on the outside, and you know you're inside one of those giant domes having a drink. And I would visit this place. Thing that's Gladly. Like cool kind of reminds me of Disney as well. And then you have like this background. It's kind of a contrast to that where like all of the designs are very... I didn't know this Like is they're very elegant. The spire ground. Spectacular. Like they're very oh, stunning. is this our hab deck? Look how bloody beautiful and modern this is. I can't wait to see these bedrooms. Okay. Are they going to show us the bedrooms? Are they? Uh, this, is what I'm, uh, this is what I'm imagining. They're probably not going to show us the bedrooms, but if they do, what I imagine it is like the um, the 890 jump. You know what I mean? The 890 jump. The bedrooms that are in that ship. That's what I expect and hope these are going to look like. I'm assuming it is. You can tell by the... Civilian and classic. <laughs> and that's oh, like look nice at it. Is that a swimming below. pool? Or is that just carpet? I think that's just carpet. Very nice, though. Very nice. Love it. Love it. Okay. Earthy materials like marble... <laughs> wooden floors, you know. It feels like Little a habitation feathers. area to me. Nest apartments. Yeah, the rest of the landing zone. Everything. Oh, look at this. It looks way better. This looks... It definitely looks... Look at it. I love the colors. It's not just... You don't look like you're in, like, a freaking hangar. <laughs> or not a hangar. Like, um... 
I don't know what I'm trying to say, but it, I like it. It looks it's good. A lot more, you know, sleek, high tech. I thought the doors would look a little bit more modern, but am I being picky? I think I am. God. And I think it's quite cool when you. You heard what he just said. Listen. Sleek, high tech. Oh. And right to me. Yeah, the rest of the landing zone, everything is a lot more, you know, sleek, high tech. A lot more sleek, high tech. I don't know. I don't think they're going to show us inside, but he said a lot more sleek, high tech. What is that? Oh, it's the elevator. Oh, it's going to be like an 890. It's going to be like an 890. And I think it's quite cool. When I'm going to live here. You know, this is my new home. Your bed and you can, you know, look out the window and you're Wait at the top second. of the high. Is this the... I think this is your bedroom. I mean, okay, let's continue. It's building in, in your Babbage. Let's not get it's too far ahead of nice. ourselves here. I think that's... Um, let's just continue, just in case. Uh, kind of like a whole, like like a, the trademark of New Babbage is definitely that we're always putting you in a. Okay, it's a nice shower. Okay, here's my thoughts, real quick. Let's have a look at this. Nice. He just said it was what. Ah. I think that's. A, I like this kind of window. Like, a whole, like, like a, the, the little wine glasses there. Is I like, you know, the bath. It's definitely better than R Corp and like Lawville and Port Alisar and stuff and the R and R's. But and I love the window. Ah, I think they messed up. I think they messed up. This thing is so ultra modern. And they've been saying throughout this whole video how is this is where they make money. This is the business dish. This is like where it's all. This is it. And there's so much... Everything was gorgeous. Why couldn't... They should... Oh, I really wish they would have made these bedrooms like an 890 jump. I do. I don't know. Maybe in the future you'll be able to customize them. But... I honestly thought... I think if... How modern everything has been. You know what I mean? That we've seen so far. Like everything has been super modern and awesome. I, I don't know. I wish they would have gone a different route with this. I really do. I wish they would have made it super modern. That we're always I mean, the window is sick. Very, don't very get me wrong. high-tech interior. You'll see the outside as well because this plan is But wide. they could have had, like, massive floor-to-ceiling windows. Like, a proper expensive, like, high-rise. Like, floor-to-ceiling windows. You know, like, the GTA? The, the homes you can buy in GTA, the apartments? Not necessarily that big because those things are huge. But, like, floor-to-ceiling windows... With like just ultra modern, I think it would have fit this location better. Uh, it's just my well, opinion. Then, you're not going to really get that do. full experience if you're just locked inside and only feel the exterior when you actually go out there. I want you to feel that all the time. I think that's one of the main things that we, we got right: the contrast between I exterior and Babbage, interior, though. but also not feeling disconnected from the exteriors because we have so many windows and you know glass domes. Ooh, look at that sun. Yeah, like the, we have a planet, we say, okay, what's a planet? And then we say, okay, for the landing zone, let's do the opposite of that. Like, you know, we're going to have palm trees, we're going to have the beach vibe. It's a very <laughs> cool contrast to go for. We're going to have to do but an all grace been, on the uh, ice. Maybe nice that could be what we do tomorrow. Knowledge. Let me know in the comments. Hey, someone did pleasure. say, sorry to pause this here, but someone did say in the comments they wanted to see an all grace on ice. Maybe we could go to New Babbage with like 15 cyclones and we'll figure out a race that maybe either starts or ends here. I don't know. I think that could be fun though. Um, let me know in the comments. That could be an idea for us tomorrow. <laughs> Bye, Fred. Bye-bye. <laughs> Itchy nose there. So what did we learn this week? Well, we learned that like the personal inner thought and personal inventory systems from last week, Building Blocks is freeing our designers up to experiment with new and innovative ways to interact with the universe around you. And that when new Babbage comes online in Alpha 3.9, star citizens everywhere will have a new place to call home. Oh, yeah, we'll be sure. back in about a month with more ISC. But until then, be sure to check out Star Citizen Live and Calling All Devs on Twitch and YouTube, respectively. For Inside Star Citizen, I'm Jared Huckabee. Take Cheers, care, Huckabee. And be safe. Be safe. You too, my friend. You too, my friend. Um, okay. Thanks for watching. So... 
Okay, so let's start with this sort of stuff. I think it's cool. I really do. Um, it, was, it wasn't something that I ever thought of. I don't know if many people asked for it, but it, it is cool. Um, I do like it. As far as them saying they're going to make it so, you know, you take things on and off, I just don't think that's necessary. I think this is really cool. Um, I don't think this will be used that... Well, we'll see. I don't know. I could be one of few. One of few. Um, they talked a lot about this. Like, almost half the video. I mean, I understood what was going on in the first minute. I say that, but that's probably what most people say about my videos. <laughs> Um, but this place, absolutely freaking breathtaking. I love it. I love the commons. I love the Aspire Grand. I mean, look at these views. I love the shuttle here. I mean, this thing is just incredible. Look at that. I mean, <laughs> I hope they add an emote. I really do hope they add an emote for this. Um, exercise, eating, food's gonna be cool. Obviously, all of that stuff. I mean, in here. Like, let's just speed it up here a little bit. Um... Like, I can't see, I can't wait to see what the rock climbing thing's all about, if you can actually do that. But, like, this section, oh, ho, ho, this place is going to be packed. Like, I think this is going to be and, sick. I mean, <laughs> you guys really... Like, this place is really going to be feel... sick, I can't wait. Uh, the only thing, I still don't know what that bloody sculpture was, you said ice sculptures. It's a... Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, but look, this is, this is where you live. This is your hab, this is your hab, right? Look at this lobby. It's ultra modern, ultra slick. Look at this again. Ultra modern, ultra slick. This, he even says. Yeah, the rest of the landing zone, everything is a lot more, you know, sleek, high tech. A lot more sleek, high tech. He said something about landing zone. I, I don't think the landing zone was. But look at the outdoors. I really, truly think they could have made these hab decks, like these habitats, just. Imagine, like an 890 bedroom like one of the smaller bedrooms in here me you probably didn't even have to make it that big but i think that i think that's a missed opportunity for a place like this which is ultra modern i think that and then to get, like look at this you see this and then you walk in and it's this again you know don't get me wrong it's nicer i like the little shower room there and that window is incredible um but I just wish it was more modern. And obviously the argument's going to be that, well, this isn't... Well, he even said this is where you're going to call home. So, I mean, he's the one that said that this is, you know, where you live. But um, a lot of people may say, oh, this is, you know, it's just for travelers to stay. I get that. But, nah, he said it was home. I'm saying it's home. I think it should have been super modern. I really do. I think it's a missed opportunity. I think if they made this super modern, like an 890, like I keep saying, like the bedroom's in an 890... And you had like a floor to ceiling window looking out over New Babbage. Oh, could you imagine? I think that would have been super cool. I don't know what the logistics of that are, but I think that would have been super cool. Wow, I love this place. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, let me switch my camera back around here. Uh, it's the first time I've done one of these videos. Um, it was fun. It was fun. Maybe I'll do one of these once a month when these uh, things come out. But... I love New Babbage. I love the inside. I love all the bars and restaurants and clubs. And wow, the hab deck's the only thing. I, it's not bad. I'm not going to complain. But I just think it was a missed opportunity. I think they could have made that gorgeous. And then it would have just blown people's minds. You know what I mean? Like even this place where I am right now. Um, it's super modern. I thought the hangar maybe would have been more modern like this. Like, cause imagine if you land in New Babbage and this is what your hangar looks like. You know what I mean? I think this would have just made more sense. The hangar you land in is very industrial. But to make it stand out, I mean, they've obviously already built this, so it's already in the game files. They've already built it. I just think something like this would have... This would have been sick to fly into New Babbage and these hangar doors open up and you come into something like this. I just don't know why they didn't do that. You guys, I'm sure, are going to let me know in the comments. But let me know if you agree or disagree. Um, I'm really curious. But I think, I truly do think, if this is what the hangar looked like, I would have been blown away. And if the hab deck, you know, just looked a little bit more modern. You know what I mean? I think it would have been better. Like, why Why did they build something like this if they aren't going to implement it in-game? I feel like, I don't know. I don't know. 
Well, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I still, it's incredible. I can't wait to jump in. Sure, in the future, they may be able to change some of these things. Um, but that's what I think. I think it should. I, I just think there's a missed opportunity there of making it look like this. Super modern. But, you know, I'm sure there's reason behind it. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe for new turn on notifications. I'll see you guys tomorrow for a live stream. Keep your eyes out for the time. It's probably going to be around 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. Um, but keep your eye out. I'll post it here and I'll post it on Twitter uh, so you guys know. Like I say, we'll probably start out with some Star Citizen, some Org Races and things like that. And then maybe, depending, I'll feel the room, you know what I mean, see what people are interested in. And we may uh, switch over to some Space Engineers towards the end of it. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And stay safe out there, guys. And I'll see you guys tomorrow with a live stream. Enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye.